The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Don't let it consume you. We surround ourselves around people that make us feel great, that tell us what we want to hear. The second we put ourselves amongst the uncommon people, we don't like that feeling. I don't know, I lost my edge. What's going on? Because once you hit the top of the mountain, guess what happened? I'm good. I'm good, so you wonder why you're falling down now. Because once you reach the top of the mountain, you got to build another one. That's mediocrity. There's a lot of people in mediocrity who have a nice resume, but they're one-timers, man. Passion. Passion is that fire that you hold in your heart that will make you find a cause to pour your life into. Passion is the thing that made you get up this morning and say, I'm going to run, I'm going to lift, I'm going to go after my goals. Passion is the most powerful motivator that you can have. It's something that must be given to you by God and you must sharpen its tool and put it to work. When it comes to passion, you have to realize that it will increase your willpower. It is the thing that is like weights. You start off at one level. The more that you work on, the more you pour into it, the stronger, the more powerful you will become. And if we are conditioned, if we conditioned ourselves to believe certain kinds of things, and one of the things that we kind of believe and hang on to and, and live with is this whole idea that all of the things that happened to me in my past are what are keeping me from doing what I'd like to do today. Be willing to go to the edge and not just lean over and feel the breeze and watch the people jump and watch them soar and look through the windows at all the people who are living great lives. Don't just go to the edge and feel it. Be willing to lean. Feel your heartbeat. Feel it. That lets you know you're alive. That lets you know you're okay. Good intentions are overrated. I know so many people, well, I, I'm going to do that. Yes, I, I think that's a good idea. I think I'm going to do that. So good intentions are the most overrated phrase in the world. You've got to go from good intentions to good actions. Nothing happens until you've got good actions. You're not all you could be. And there's pain in that. And there's the necessity for a certain amount of judgment about that. And even a certain amount of exclusion, because what you are that is insufficient in some sense should be not be allowed to propagate further. But, you know, here's some things about you that are virtuous and good, and they're pretty powerful actually. And if you just, made those more manifest, you could dispense with a lot of this immaturity and misery and you could start walking this pathway that makes things better. And the thing is that as soon as you start walking the pathway that makes things better, then things immediately become better. The fact that nobody's watching is utterly irrelevant to me. It has everything to do with myself. Now, the reason that this is important, the reason that I think that people need to do this is because that's how you shape your behavior. So, like water, over time can create, create the Grand Canyon, or you can take uh, a polishing rock and shape stones. You can shape your personality. You can certainly shape your identity and shape your behaviors if you learn how to reward and punish yourself. Suffering is a byproduct of the unknown. And that's why we will project out into the future and go, what if? Because suffering does introduce a man or discomfort does introduce a man or a woman to their, to their highest self. I call it the other room, like in your head, in everybody's head, like there's this other place that you can go to. You may have been there before. And this other room, this other place, you get to meet your other self. The magnitude of the reward you experience as you're moving towards a goal 
is proportionate to the importance of the goal. So that means the more important the goal you pick, the more possibility there is for that is life affirming. Fear fuels you. Fear lets you know, go get more information. Fear lets you know, step a little later and study. Fear lets you know, get up a little earlier. Fear lets you know, ask for help. Fear is informing you. It's not stopping you. It's just another emotion like love and compassion and gratitude. We just made it paralyze us. The comfort zone is dangerous. When you're comfortable, you are at most danger. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You should never be satisfied with what you got. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better all the time. Lazy people do a little work and think they should be winning, but winners work as hard as possible and still worry if they're being lazy. So it's the same thing with failure. It's how you use it. It's that drive inside of you, okay? It's what we talk about, the dark side. The dark side is filled with failure, but it's the fuel that burns you like something that's never burned inside you before. And this is the problem, it's the same obstacle. The difference is when you have a clear, set, a clear destination, the obstacles become easy to overcome. When you don't have a clear destination, you keep coming to a grinding halt. People want to feel that the effort that they're exerting actually are moving somewhere. And so successful measurement, successful recognition is not just for the steps you take. It's not just for the effort. It's that the effort you exerted moved us closer to where we're trying to get to. And that get to should be some crazy ideal. Because your whole orientation changes. And you know, if you're in a bad place, but you're escaping, that's pretty positive. So find five reasons that empower you why is it that you deserve your goal? What are the five reasons that you won't give up when life catch you on the blind side, when the messenger of misery visits you? What are you going to do? What will keep you in the game when life knocks you to the canvas? You don't become what you want. You become where your habits take you. There's no ending. And that's the person I listen to. That's the person who's gained knowledge. You gain knowledge through suffering. And on the other end of suffering is a world that very few, very few have ever seen. It's a beautiful world because that's where you find yourself. You need to make it a habit to start every day validating yourself because life is a marathon and this might be a challenging leg where you're like I'm just gonna throw in the towel I'm not gonna do that thing hell no if you're standing in front of that mirror you deserve to feel the support and empowerment and encouragement that you need you are doing so much every single day that you don't give yourself credit for. You got to learn to let the past go so you can grow. Many people never act on their dreams because they allow their past experiences to determine what their possibilities are. Whatever you've done in the past, that's not a reflection of your possibilities. That's just a reflection of your consciousness. The future is unfolding for you right now. 